welcome to this session so in this session we will see some uh, reasoning questions based on uh, saturated hydrocarbon that is alkane so let us see this question one by one uh, alkanes are normally inert towards uh, chemical reagents so why so let us see this uh, answer this, uh, alkanes are normally uh, it is a uh, non reactive in nature uh, thing is that they have no reaction site due to the CC or CH bonds because they have a saturated hydrocarbon single bond uh, between the carbon carbon and carbon hydrogen and uh, these are non uh, these are the non polar bonds where the chemical reagents can attack so due to which uh, they have no reactant uh, reaction sites due to presence of these bonds chlorination of methane does not occur in dark so in dark condition chlorination, chlorination of methane does not happen so chlorination in is a free radical substitution reactions so to get uh, chlorine as a free radical uh, from uh, cl2 molecules so we require high amount of energy which is not available in the condition of dark condition that's why chlorination of methane uh, does not occur in dark iodination of uh, methane occurs in presence of iodic acid so let us see the answers so answer is actually uh, iodination is a reversal process and to decompose hydrogen iodide uh, one of the product so, uh, and which is an oxidizing agent that is the hio3 is required like this is reaction hi plus hio3 required so iodination of uh, methane occurs in presence of iodic acids otherwise this process will be your reversible process why the cracked gasoline is considered to be the superior state distilled gasoline so let us see this one actually uh, the cracked gasoline it poses the branch chain hydrocarbon the hydrocarbon chain is branched which have higher octane numbers uh, the state distilled gasoline uh, poses mainly state chain hydrocarbon that's why the cracked hello, uh, gasoline is considered to be uh, superior to a state uh, distilled gasoline the boiling point of the branched chain alkanes are lower than their normal isomers so, so let us see the answers so answer is that the intermolecular forces are weaker in branch chain isomers due to the low surface area so in branch chain isomers surface area is very low therefore they have the lower boiling point alkanes containing even number of carbon atoms have higher than expected boiling point so alkanes which have the even number of carbon they have the higher boiling point expected boiling point so actually reason is that in even number of carbon atoms in alkanes they are packed in a manner to permit the greater intermolecular force of attraction therefore their boiling point is slightly a uh, higher melting point so packed means uh, the packing is more uh, proper so uh, like if you see draw like uh, this is the uh, you can see the uh, 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 this is the four carbon atoms so it can be packed like this one it can be packed like this one so this pack is proper but if you go this one so this pack will be somewhat different so this packing it depends on packing so this kind of packing will be somewhat similar to symmetrical that's why their boiling point is little higher although combustion of alkane is a strongly exothermic process it does not occur at a moderate temperature so let us see actually the reaction is actually very slow at room temperature because of a very uh, because of the activation energy of the alkene is very high that's why it does not occur at moderate temperature and it occurs at a high temperature it require it gives a so that's why it doesn't occur at a moderate temperature due to this only activation high activation energy tetraethyl lead initiates the chlorination of a methane in a in the dark at 423 kelvin so in this temperature the chlorination will take place so why why it happens because this uh, tetraethyl lead it undergoes the thermohomolysis of carbon lead bond so in this there will be the homolysis of carbon and lead bond at this temperature so it will form a 
free radical the carbon will form a free radical that is ethyl will convert into the free radical ethyl which generates the this chlorine as a free radical and which brings chlorination of methane in dark condition so this is the one of the way in which you can get the free chlorine in dark and for this we require tetraethyl lead why does an oil slick form on the surface of the ocean after a spill so answer is very very easy actually alkanes are constituent of petroleum and second things are they are also insoluble as well as they are having the lower density than water that's why this oil slicks it forms on the surface of the ocean after a spill a tertiary carbon atom can be oxidized with relative is so this can be easily oxidized tertiary carbon so why it happens because in case of uh, this tertiary carbon alkyl groups are uh, being electron donating groups so it actually increases the electron density at the tertiary carbon and it helps in easy oxidation how we can see this here this is the tertiary carbon this carbon tertiary carbon and this carbon attached with a three methyl group so this carbon will give electron to this carbon so this carbon will get the greater quantity of negative charges due to which the bond between the carbon and hydrogen is weakened and this is easily oxidized so this compound is the c8h18 so you can say this is an octane so octane on chlorination if you get one equivalent of chlorine so you have to uh, it will form the only one product and uh, one mono chlorination substitution will take place this product uh, having only one mono chloro substitution will take place so you have to identify this compound so you have to arrange in compound in such a way that only one product is formed so the uh, structure of this uh, octane will be like this is only possible means there will be the two uh, quaternary carbon and these are the primary carbon and if you give the one equivalent of chlorine so what will have happen so only we'll get the one product that is this product so this is the answer of this question so now you uh, try this question write the structure of all the alkenes so i am just mentioning all the alkenes that can be hydrogenated to form 2 methyl pentane that's all